Hello friends, Dolly here. Welcome back to a new video. So we're continuing work in our self-love journal. Uh, last week, we worked on just honoring the ways that we provide self-love without any like judgment or um, guilt because sometimes we may show ourselves love in a way that may not be the best for us but it's what we learned probably as children so we just held space for that without any judgment and then this is one that i did over on my patreon we did a new moon self-love spread here we are on a clean <laughs> and i use the word loosely clean uh spread and we're gonna work on today's prompt so for today's prompt we are going to look at the ways in which we provide self-love that are healthy and that we recognize that they are healthy and probably the best ways to show ourselves love. So here, I'm just showing you what I have. That one was empty, not really sure why, <laughs> why I pulled that out, but I have a collection of magazines. I have my sticker books, which I'm very much trying to use up. Um, I think when you buy these books, you forget, like in your day-to-day, -day, you're not really using that many stickers, but yeah, just some images, some Happy Meal that friends have sent, some magazine images probably, and that's what we're gonna use to get started. Now, here on these pages, it's a little warm for me personally, um, with the coffee dyed paper. So I'm going to grab some sort of turquoise paint, like a cool blue, to kind of help tone that down. So while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to start looking for the images I want to use. and. I really liked this tea card because one, I can write my intention on here, but also in my last video, I talked about how one of my ways of showing self-love is coffee. And so that's not always great for you, especially if you're drinking uh, multiple cups throughout the day, probably not, not the best, you know? Um, but that's why I'm trying to drink more tea. So this was like literally perfect. This was in some happy mail that Cameron sent me and um i wanted to use this like sheer paper because it has like a little swirly pattern playing off like those halos that i like to put around people i put a little halo around my teacup on the right hand side i also chose that image of like these three witches uh to represent one um just camaraderie and socializing because even though I'm not always a fan of it. I, I, I realize that it is something that is good for me. And as a human, you know, we are um, social creatures. So even though I may not always feel like it, I know sometimes it's good to push myself to be social. And then the third aspect of that image with the witches is my spirituality. And then also the number three, which I associate with healing. So here, I'm just going through the magazine. I'm pulling some stuff out. I pulled some images around um, astrological signs because I do love to study astrology and I feel like learning is a great way to show yourself love and, and it's a healthy way. It's a way that keeps your brain strong and connected. And so that's all I'm doing here. I'm just gonna choose some images. So here I found some of that like magazine perfume that they always have and I rubbed it all around the pages because it just brings in another one of your senses which is smell and I often like to use perfume in my journal spreads and here I have one that's intact which I will um, add here in some fashion. I'm trying to figure that all out here as we're going along. So. We're using several things here. While I work through this, let me talk about it a little bit. Ways that I show myself love that are healing is 
through making smarter choices. For example, tea over coffee. It's um, self-care, which plays into the perfume that I used. It's nature. I really love um, hiking out in nature and we love going into the trails, which, you know, you're surrounded by the woods and you see so many creatures and we just love that. So that's a big part of how um, I show myself love. And another aspect that you're going to see me use here is glitter because I f glitter makes me happy. It represents art for me. So um, I added, I will add some of that in here. And we're going to use some other stuff too, but for now we'll watch this to music and then um, I'll chime in as we go along. And then here I'm going to cut this sign out for Sagittarius because one, I'm a Sagittarius and um, like I said before, I do like to read up on astrology and I just like to learn more about it and kind of um, learn what the signs mean and the planets mean and when what's aligned with what and when what is in retrograde. I just find it super interesting. So I'm going to add that here to represent me and also my love for learning. And here I wanted to cut out uh, the fan with the three different colored plates. One to represent my love for art and color and two because the left hand page I always sort of forget about it. I don't know if it's because my right side is dominant but I wanted to just add something uh, of interest that was not the teacup like the teacup is a focal point but i felt like it needed a secondary focal point and so that is why um i placed this on that page Here I'm finally breaking into my super books and I'm using my, I forget what this one is called, it's like the green cover and it's all flowers and trees and things like that. And I just felt like I needed something in the background behind the, the images um, that I was gluing in. So I felt like this big daisy would be great or maybe is that a sunflower no that's a daisy um i thought it would look really good behind my focal images and that way the image of the sagittarius sign and then the three little witches um didn't look like they were just like floating there i don't know if you know what i mean by that but like when i had them first like auditioned on the page they just seem like not cohesive so the stickers and the flower kind of help um, bring them together and sort of uh, make them seem more in harmony with each other.
I liked the way the right side came out so much that I added a sticker behind my teacup and it almost feels like there's a flower or in this case a coral a pink coral blooming out of the cup I thought it was really cool and we have now arrived at the glitter gel portion of this video I'm going to control myself and the perfume tab was just like really just not in harmony with any of this spread because it was like a big black square so i'm putting some pink glitter to kind of help camouflage it but also to just add some sparkle so here i added some letters just to spell out the heal as in healing love that is healing self-love that is healing <laughs> And it's time to write our intention. I can't really see what I'm writing, um, but I think I can leave it open in case you wanted to read. It's something along the lines of, I recognize that there are ways to provide self-love that are more healing and more aligned with my higher self. And I trust that I will in the future and now and always recognize that I will sort of lean into those ways and allow my intuition to guide me to those best ways to provide my self-love. So here we are almost at the end. I got this brilliant idea to create a magical elixir of healing with the glitter gel so that's what you see me doing here putting it over the tea part and that's pretty much it i hope you guys are enjoying the self-love series if you are please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know how it's been going and yeah that's all thank you so much for stopping by i love you so much and i will see you on the next one bye